Hello viewers, welcome to the session on Lasso and Ridge Regression in Machine Learning. Please make sure to watch all the prerequisite videos for your clear understanding and to make best use of it. So firstly, let's look into the definition of regularization. It is nothing but a process of introducing additional information in order to prevent overfitting. I hope you are very much clear till now by overfitting. It is nothing but when our machine learning model tries to cover all the data points present in the given data set and because of this the model starts catching noise and inaccurate values that are also present in the data set and these factors reduces the efficiency and accuracy of the model so hence overfitting must be avoided and regularization is one of the best technique to overcome overfitting and regularization can be further classified into two types these are lasso regression and ridge regression which are also termed as l1 and l2 regularization and these are supervised feature selection technique which means we are going to select a number of features out of total number of features which determines our target variable so let's understand this very deeply suppose we are given a linear equation such as this here from the equation we can make sure that the target variable y is dependent on three independent variables x1, x2 and x3 respectively. And the coefficient of these independent variables also determines that how proportionately they determine the target variable y. And from that here we can conclude or infer that x3 is mainly determining the target variable y. So how does rich regular regularization and lasso regularization help us let's look what will rich regression does for the same equation it will co convert it something related to this here you have to make sure that it has scaled down the coefficients of each of the independent variables but the main point to be noted here is that it is containing the same number of independent variables as it was given in the original linear equation and moreover one more thing that you can see here is that it has scaled down to so close to zero but not equal to zero. This is the main difference between rich and lasso regression. Let's look into lasso regression also so that you can understand how lasso regression also works. So in lasso regression, it is a perfect example of selecting feature selection model where we, go, we use to select only useful independent variables out of the total variables. So here you can see that out of these three independent variables, it has analyzed that um, y1 is x3 is determining mostly the target variables, hence it has selected only x3 independent variables while rest all it has made to zero. Moreover, it has to be scaled on. Uh, let's look into the example further so that we can understand it clearly. So let's look at the definition of ridge regression. The ridge regression, how does it work? The main formula behind the ridge regression is this, which stands for loss plus lambda times of W square, where loss is nothing but the square of difference between actual and predicted value, and W is nothing but our slope, or which can also be termed as vector of coefficient of independent variables. And the rich regression, the only difference is here we take the square of this square, square uh, coefficients of independent variables. And lambda is the main penalty factor which tries to reduce the error. So let's uh, examine it graphically. Before rich regression, our model looks something related to this. But after applying, uh, let us suppose the, there were 10 independent variables and E, uh, the coefficients of each are determined something like this but after applying ridge regression the same 10 independent variables have been scaled down and moreover you can see it has the least value has come near to zero but not exactly zero what we have discussed in the theoretical section same now let's look the formula of lasso regression and in lasso regression the formula is same but the only difference here comes here we take the absolute value instead of squaring the value and the formula is same here loss plus lambda w where loss stands for the square of difference between actual and predicted value 
and w is our vector of coefficients of independent variable and w uh, modulus w is nothing but the absolute value of the coefficient of independent variables that's the main difference between lasso and ridge regression and penalty is nothing but our lambda and here we can see the visualization of how lasso regression works um, so suppose before lasso regression there were 10 independent variables and each of them were having the coefficient as given here but after applying lasso regression the same 10 independent variables get reduced to only 6 independent variables whereas it has brought down 4 useless independent variables according to that model to completely zero now it's time for your favorite hands-on session on lasso and ridge regression in machine learning Firstly, I am reading the data set. So let me show you all the data set column headers. Let me print the column headings. It has been executed and you can see, let me show you, it is containing 414 records and 8 columns. Yeah, and the number one is serial number. And the second column is nothing but the transaction date, house age, distance to the nearest MRT station, then number of convenience stores and latitude and longitude and house price of unit area so this is our data set and i am segregating the independent uh, dependent data set so in order of independent data set i am dropping the independent variable house price per unit and transaction date and house age from the data set itself so in independent variable we are having only five of the columns these are number and the nearest neighbor and the convenience latitude and longitude and i'm splitting my data set into training and testing set so let me execute this so it has been executed successfully the model has been splitted into training and testing set with the test size of 20 percent and 80 percent will be given to the training data set after that i'm applying the linear regression and hopefully you have watched the linear regression model if not please go back and watch it firstly in order to understand this see it has been executed successfully and also the mean squared error here is 66.92 moreover when i am trying to print the coefficient of the each column let me execute this chunk of code and here you can see that uh, the respective coefficients of the independent variables that is number x3 x4 and x5 and x6 similarly now the main chunk of code starts here now here the main chunk of here comes the main chunk of code for ridge regression from sklearn library and linear model module we are importing ridge class and we have created the object of the ridge class and after that we have trained our training data set into the ridge model and i am predicting the y test with the on the basis of x test and calculating its mean squared error let me execute this chunk of code for the ridge regression and it, you can see the mean squared error is slightly higher that is 69.88 but when we look into the coefficients of the column let's look into the values now see it has been executed successfully now you can see the values are much nearer to zero but not equal to zero anywhere but when yeah see here it has given the preference to latitude linear regression but uh, here also it has given uh, the same number here you can see what we have discussed in the theoretical session that the independent variables will remain same the number of independent variables will remain same and moreover see how much scale down has happened from 217 to 7 to the latitude now let's look how lasso regression will perform on the same data set and moreover let's see which is going to give the logically correct answer so for lasso regression we are having from sklearn library we have to use linear model module and in that we have lasso class so we have created the object of lasso class and we have fitted our training data sets into the lasso model after that we are predicting this using lasso.predict that is object name.predict and on the basis of x test we are predicting the y test and hence we are comparing the mean squared error between y test and y predicted through lasso and let me print the mean squared error error of the same also 
so it has been executed and it has also given a slightly higher that is 70 but when we come when we look into the column selection that is feature selection let me execute this chunk of code so that you can understand it more clearly see it has not given any preference to the latitude it has directly brought it to zero even the longitude has been brought to zero so the main thing that is determining the price of the houses the number of convenience stores nearby so it has given the preference to this and you can see that these two you features were useless according to the lasso and that's what we have been discussing in the theoretical session hopefully you have enjoyed this hands-on session and as usual i have included a code snippet for your fast revision so you can pause your video right here and can take the screenshot of the same for your future reference i hope this video proved fruitful to you and hope you have gained something extra than what you were knowing earlier. Thank you.